Aries. Keep it there, please. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Viva, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of February 2021. Baby, we had to have some fun. I hope you guys are reloaded, feeling fine and festive, baby, because we up in here, okay? Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed and clicked this video, okay? Yes, indeed. All right so if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me um if you want to book a personal private reading if you want to send a little love over here to help support the page check out the information in the description box of this video or click the about bio tab on my youtube page and it gives you all my information how to connect with me the best way to reach out to me is by instagram messenger all right so my instagram link is there my booking instructions is there um I only do video readings, so if you don't have an Instagram, email me at scorpionrez at gmail.com. I'll help get you all set up on Google Hangouts. I like that hang I like that application because the only information that you need to exchange to do the video chat is your email. So I really, really like Google Hangouts. So again, if you want to reach out with me, scorpionrez at gmail.com. Or the best way is my Instagram link, okay? So listen, y'all know what we're going to do. Y'all know how it's all set up. Y'all know how everything goes down around here. We always give thanks, acknowledgement, and praise to the Creator, to Father God, to the universe, whatever you want to call it. I really appreciate each and every one of you that always give me shout outs in the comments saying, you know, thank you for the prayers uh, because we got to pray. <laughs> we got to cleanse. We got to, you know, speak our heart, you know, and speak true. We don't speak that, you know, nothing can ever, you know, be acknowledged on our end. You know, you got to ask. You got to ask so that you can receive. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries, Father God. We are keeping it right there, Father God. We feel like we are on the path, Father God. Anything that we need, we just ask, Father God. We know that you're always listening. You're always paying attention. You're always keeping us focused, Father God. And we thank you so much. We thank you for all of the foods, all of the nourishment of the water, the, the, the nourishment of the milks that we have every day, the sweet honey, you know, all of the wonderful communication, all of the open doors, all of the open windows, but all of that natural sunlight coming through, all that good warmth, Father God. We thank you so much for all of the elements that we are just blessed to have around us, Father God. We appreciate it all, Father God, and it's all for you, and it's all because of you, Father God. Everything that we are right now is because you just have this determination for us. You don't give up on us, Father God, and we thank you so much, and we cherish you for that, and we thank you again for being by our side father god please give us guidance for the sign of aries father god in the month of february 2021 we're trying to have some fun this year father god we're going to do we're going to do the dang thing so give us the guidance that we need father god in jesus name amen let's get into it all right so i got my little love cards out the zag i got my little love cards you know thank you again because you guys help support and have all these decks here on this table, so thank you again. So let's see what we got for Aries. Thank you so much. Hold on, you guys. Alright, so give me guidance for Aries. Oop, there we go. Alright, let's get an Oracle card. energy for Aries okay oh Lord Jesus you got the doubt card for woods now what's this you got the Marilyn Monroe okay come on Marilyn Monroe mm -mm 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 -mm. I love me a Marilyn Monroe personality I, Marilyn Monroe is someone that is very very confident very outspoken okay I want to say she wears her heart on her sleeve a little bit. You know, like, if she like you, you'd know it. You know, she has a 
some type of tenacity. She's like a big flirt. Like she's going to come and get you. She's like, <laughs> she's the apex predator. Like if, like if she wants you, she's going to come after you. She's not going to sit there and wait for no man to come after her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She is very, very living in the moment type of gal. You know, so what does this say? Orgasms don't exist. It's better to spend your time reading. Ulysses. Enjoy your wedding day. You only get to do that three or four times in your life. Never pick stability over a good time. <laughs> she is a mess. Again, orgasms don't exist. Mm -mm. It's better to spend your time reading. Ulysses. I got to see what this Ulysses thing is. Enjoy your wedding day. You only get to do that three or four times in your life. Never pick stability over a good time. <laughs> a mess. A mess. A mess. She's just a straight up play girl. You know, it's like none of these dudes turn me on. Like, I'd rather spend my time reading. Like, you know, you, like I feel like she doesn't, she doesn't mind tripping and falling over her face you know, in love. So she might have had like two or three failed marriages or something like that, but she don't care. It's like, you know, I'm still hot. I'm still out here. I'm still, you know, and it, and, and I believe because of her life experiences with marriage and commitments and things, it helped her grow and love and believe more of herself and just like perfect herself and make her feel more beautiful, you know, made her life more luxurious so it was like whatever these relationships couldn't give me i'm giving it to myself i'm attracting all i have all of these men at my beck and call and i can take it or i can throw it away if i want to you know what i'm saying I, it's, she's like the play girl and she doesn't it's like it's like when she's in love she's in love but other than that she's going to pick and choose and do what she wants how she wants so um Never pick stability over a good time, though. So that's the thing that you got to kind of listen about that may be the downfall in this mindset of this type of archetype, archetypal woman in regards to how she thinks of love. Because it's like she'll chase the thrill over stability. Like, I feel like stability, someone that just like a real stable marriage without all of the drama and the this, this, and that, and the cat and around and blah, blah, blah. It's probably boring to her. It's like lifeless, you know? She just, she's the, there are some people that are just not a one man type of woman. There are some men that are just not a one woman type of man. It's like, they need variety. It's like, I might really, really love you, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean that I don't love you because I may dilly-dally over on the side with other people. You know what I'm saying? I just can't be committed to just one person. Like, I, I really do feel like this is the personality of this person. This person chases the thrill, chases, you know, the excitement of romance or something. The thought of settling down is boring to this person. So, you got the doubt card here. It says, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity doesn't arise but you can say free me from this prison of doubt i cast this burden to you show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence again doubt offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arise but you can say free me from this prison of doubt i cast this burden to you Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. Hmm. Gosh, it's like they, they're saying it's something, it's something that pushed you away. It's something that pushed you away. It's like you freed yourself from something because it was like you had doubt about kind of where you stood in this situation I, I, I especially with this valentine's it, listen it's february coming up it's like i don't know if it's like someone trying to free themselves from the doubt that they can like work in this archetype like really um kind of live this like they want it's like someone who 
There's two stories. There's someone that has some type of self-doubt. I feel like there's some type of loneliness. They want to be here with it. They want to have all of the dudes falling over them. Like, you know, being able to attract and allure and glamour and romance these guys in. Have them, like I said, have them at their beck and call. Can pick and choose. Wants to be more free of their self without, like, worrying about what other people think of them. Like... Again, someone that doesn't really care about tripping and falling over their face and love. Like, you know, I had an experience. I brushed off, but I'm about to get back out there again because I'm 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 with it. I'm like that. I'm beautiful. I'm vivacious. I'm all of that. Someone needs to experience this here. And they're trying to come out of this place of doubt and like some type of worry and trying to gain some type of confidence again. To kind of get here. And then there's someone that was in. I want to say like a relationship or something. Where she already knows that this is who she is. Point blank period. She already knows. Like this is me. This is who I am. I, leave, I live, breathe, shit. This energy right here. This is me. Because <laughs> I'm serious. There's someone like no. This is me over here already. This is me. And it's like if someone puts some type of doubt in you. And how you're feeling in that relationship or in that situation it don't it don't matter what it is it's like i'm i could jump back out here and do what i was doing any fucking way so it's like you know <laughs> like so it's like i don't know if someone got you wrong and put you in a place with all this confidence and all of this ability and all of this allure and agility that you had someone put you in a moment where you were doubting yourself or you were doubting the situation where they were with you and where you were with them and then you quickly had to regather yourself and just like you know listen father god look free me from this i'll go back to where i was free me from this because <laughs> like this don't feel good because i'm normally a very confident and like uh-uh free me from this Give me my confidence back. So let's see. Let's get into this here, shall we? Clarify Marilyn my father in the doubt card for my Aries. Y'all forgive me for my hands looking all the way they are. I'm learning how to do um gel nails. So this is my first time doing it. It came out like this. The other side was like real lumpy. As I started doing it, it started getting better. So, like, this is my second time trying to do it, like, ever. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm switching it up. All right, give me guidance for my Aries. Marilyn Monroe's out February. Ooh. Go ahead and put that right there. February. Aries. The Magician in the Reverse. The Ace of Emotions. One more, please. Aries. All right, let's see what we got. So, we already see that we got the magician in the reverse here. And it's and it's just like unsure of how to use your powers right now. It's like, I'm done with the manipulating tactics. That's like what y'all are saying to me. It's like, how can I assert myself? How can I pull off and do what I'm trying to do? Um without doing like nothing like underhanded a schemey because I feel like for some reason it's like someone got someone wrong and it's like I know I can use my energy for neg negatively but I'm not going to do that right now it's like I'm trying to receive the, the reward of the light so it's like I'm trying to regain my confidence because I can't let nobody pull me down to that lower vibe again you know what I'm saying but it's like some way of feeling like weak 
weakened because it's like I feel like you're used to doing something. It's like when anger or when someone again like cast you in a place where there's like some type of doubt and they make you feel unsure of yourself. You normally like react with like I want to say anger or pettiness or something like that not like in an extreme level but it's like you kind of throw up right back but in a kind of a little sneaky way you know what i'm saying like you have your own little place of armor where it's like you know how to throw those little jabs and it's like these little sneaky little punches and things like that like you know how to make you know how to throw up right back to them and it's like without me doing that with my energy anymore This, it's like this newer you. This newer you. So, it's like regardless of what these people are saying about me, regardless of what these people are trying to do, regardless of if they're doubting what I can do, my skills, my abilities, I'm not going to do the things the same way that I always used to do it. I'm going to do it a little bit different. So, I might not be quick to approach this time because it's I feel like you're trying to learn you're learning a different way you're learning a new skill and you not as you don't feel as powerful as you used to because I'm not who I used to be anymore I can't go about it that way no more because it didn't bring me anything positive you know what I'm saying I don't feel encouraged by doing things in a low vibrational way I'm taking a different approach so since I'm starting things new, I'm about to sit here and just chill like, you know, I'm not jumping myself out there too much. Because it's like you playing on a different playing field on a different ground right now. So I'm not playing with these stupid little peasants and stuff like that. And that's no disrespect, but like, let's put it on level of kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? You have... I guess what they call peasants, which I guess that that's a disrespectful term. But some people deserve to be disrespectful because they're low lives. They're low thinking individuals. They're low vibing individuals. You know what I'm saying? It's like they can have better. They can do better. But they don't want to uplift themselves out of that lifestyle. They rather just be at the bottom because that's where they're used to being. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like people do become pages. People do become nice. People do eventually become kings and queens. But they got to work their self up there so it's again it's like I'm really getting that with this ace of emotion like I'm feeling like such a deep love for self. like I love myself so much it's like kind of like washing away some type of low level experience here and like filling your cup with something so spiritual so good so uplifting so nourishing it's just like so joyous right now No, I do not feel as powerful as I used to because I don't feel like I need to fight that fight anymore. I'm learning something new. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to just sit back and chill and regain my skills, and regain my strength right now. And it's like I really don't care what y'all say about me. It's about what I feel about myself. And as long as I love myself, I'm good where I'm going. I'm good where I'm at. And I'm going to keep it pushing. Like, that's why I feel. It's like you're attracting love to yourself. It's like that this vibration that you have. There's still, like, a high level of hope. And like I said, love for yourself. It's like you're trying to, like, bathe yourself in that energy again. Because I really do feel like someone got pushed. And it's like, I have to remember who, who I am. I have to remember who I am again. You know? Like, you're not about to push no doubt in me or nothing like that. You're not going to make me feel like I'm not magical. Yeah, I'm magical. I'm just not doing that bullshit that I used to be doing. This is something different. So, now I'm not. No, I disengage. What is this? The Knight of Materials in the Reverse. So, let me flip all the rest of these cards over. You got the seven of voices. So, okay. 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 And then you got the fool over here. So, again, like, this is someone. Okay. So, what this is basically telling me right now, it's like, you were in a situation. I don't know if it had something to do with your Wait. 
take me a sip of coffee. <clears throat> I don't know if this had to do with some type of financial obligation or deal that you had to, you know, something like that. But it's like the money wasn't coming in quickly or something wasn't coming in quickly. It wasn't coming in quickly at all. And I don't know if that made you feel like not strong, not like you didn't have enough materials. Because again, like the magician in the reverse, it's like either someone... It's like not knowing how to work some type of equipment, not knowing how to use their tools or just learning something and not knowing how to pull their magic. They don't know how to make things levitate yet. They're still studying. They're still learning their skills. They're like, you know, an apprentice magician or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They Or it's like you may not believe in your own magic. You may not believe in your own skill or something like that. Or, like I said, it's someone being a low-level magician, like a sneaky individual or something like that. So, again, it's like, with this Seven of Swords right here, this is like someone like using their smarts, using their integrity, and at the same time, like realizing that they may be in a losing situation. So, it's like, I got to do what I got to do. I got to move like a fox, I got to move swiftly, I got to move quickly, I got to maneuver in a different way, like, there's a total different dark side of you, completely, we get that, we know that, and it's like we're trying to stay in the light, <laughs> right, so it's just like, you're just trying to use your wit and, and just positively just like, Move yourself out of a lose-lose situation. It's like you're tired. You're tired of waiting. You're not gaining anything. You're not. You, you know. You're not moving. Things are not going anywhere. You're not learning anything. It's like whatever it is that you feel like it's weakening you, or it's like. I don't know if it's like you could be you could have been doing something for a long time and like people still doubt your skills. They still doubt your ability to do something. It's like you're not a real magician or you're not a real uh, like you're not a real worker. Like it's like someone saying something about your ability and your skill to do something. And it's like I, it's and it's like God, well, I feel like it's someone like trying to clown you about something and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, with this fool, it's like just walking away, walking clear the fuck away on faith. Like, you know, using your ability, your skills. Like the seven of swords to me means someone that is extremely skilled. If you're not looking at it in a low vibrational way, I'm not looking at it in a low vibrational right way right here because... If that ace of emotions was not right there, I would look at it in a completely different type of way. But it's like I'm moving away because this doesn't fit my standards anymore. Like, it's no point. It's like someone could be stealing my time, could be stealing my energy. Like, I could feel that lower vibration trying to creep up out of me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm just going to find a swift exit out swiftly. Like, they might not even realize that I have left. You know, so it's like getting away with just like walking away with your freedom papers and these people can't come behind you at all you know what i'm saying like it's like you're getting a chance to walk smooth the fuck away and go on your own self voyage and not having to deal with a situation no more it's like releasing yourself from doubt releasing yourself from any type of situation where it was like you didn't believe in yourself anymore because of other people and their doing because it's like when I walk away and I free myself from this doubt, like, I'm surrounded by people that love me. I'm surrounded by people that want my energy. I'm surrounded by people that are begging me that I got to pick and choose. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it's like, if something is, if it's not appeasing to me, it's like I will smile in your face. Whole time with my fingers behind my back. It's like, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to see you at work. Yeah, tell Tasha I'm going to um, help her with that project and shit. And it's like, whole time your finger behind your back like this, like, psych, bitch. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about to put my resignation letter. Like, whole time, it's like you may be 
lollygagging or something to like leave you want to make sure that certain people leave the office first so you may like oh sit in the bathroom act like you taking this shit or something and then when like you realize the coast is clear you may go through that motherfucker you understand pack up all of your stuff and the desk may steal a couple of staplers or a calculator or some shit or you know whatever the hell you need about your desk make sure that you're not leaving no old uh like you know how people in the little um community refrigerator you got your creamer and shit no bitch i'm taking my creamer my motherfucking um my good sugar and all that stuff that i bought in here like no i'm taking all of my shit all of these good pens because y'all don't want to buy shit but oh fuck you know like you it's just like a pettiness like it's like i'm taking some shit back I'm taking some shit that you owe me. And I'm walking clear the fuck up out of here. <laughs> like, it's like I'm about to sit. Like with the slap, I'm about to sit. I'm about to wait. I'm about to be patient. And I'm about to move, bitch. Like, y'all listen. Let me see you walk. 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 Eh. Y'all, y'all, so whatever. You talking all that shit, but let me see if you can walk. Ah, let me see you walk. 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 Like, listen, you about to walk. Especially if this has anything to do with someone, them not giving you a promotion, them not giving you a raise, them not acknowledging your skills, them trying to make you feel like you're not worthy, you know? And it's like, I'm not, like, typically, I will wild out, I will act stupid, but I love my, I'm learning to love myself and appreciate that my energy is too precious for me to even go down and be rolling around in the mud and the dirt with y'all. I'm good. You ain't got time for me. You don't want to give me my money. You don't want to recognize me you want to tell me that I don't have my skills to a certain level to be able to do whatever for I, I'm good let me go let me go let me release myself offering all to the divine doesn't mean ne negativity never arises when you are giving that shadow energy to God and you saying I'm not gonna fight no more I'm not gonna argue no more I'm not God never said that it was never going to be a situation that was going to occur where you're not going to be tested. He's just saying, I'm going to show you a different tool, a different method. You haven't did this before. You know what I'm saying? And until you feel completely empowered, where you feel like you can utilize it in the way that you can, just feel blessed. Love yourself and learn how to walk the fuck away. All battles do not need to be fought by you. You leave it to me. That's the meanest motherfucking walk. <laughs> when you walk away and you let God handle them. Hello? Tuh. That's the meanest power. That's the meanest victory. You ain't never going to have me be in doubt of myself. And God ain't never said that you weren't going to be tested. Okay? But what he do say, he said, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. <laughs> free me. Let me walk. Free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me with faith and confidence. Now, ain't that ain't that the truth? Now, ain't that the truth? Honey, that, uh, that means travel. So, y'all are definitely moving, okay? You're definitely on the walk. And I mean a mean-ass walk at that. Let's get into this love for my Aries real quick. Let's see what's going on because... I don't necessarily feel like that has to do with love. That has to do with skills. And that has to do with the amount of love and admiration for who you are. Like, motherfuckers love you. Like, you hot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you do what you do, you do what you do. Like, you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? You do how you do it, baby. It's like there, there's only one you. You know? There, look, there's the Anna Nicole Smiths, but, baby, there's only one fucking Marilyn Monroe. Y'all know who the originator of the motherfucker. Y'all know who it was. So don't do it. Don't ever doubt. <laughs> you can doubt, but I'm going to show a nigga how to walk, okay? Okay. I am relaxing. Let's get it. Go. We got talking. Ooh. Y'all out there already talking to people. You already making other arrangements. Y'all already know how Ari go. Ari don't play. <laughs> Aries will get on it quickly. Listen, Aries will probably Aries is always 10 steps ahead of you. Oh, listen, it's like they their little antennas, their little whiskers on the little fox whiskers. It's like they can sniff, they feel some type of disgruntled negative ass. And you're like, oh yeah. 
to, I'm already cooking you, baby. You ain't even got to worry about, but you know, <laughs> every time I ain't about to do no old petty ass shit to you this time. I'm just going to make other arrangements. And hey, listen, you ain't said nothing, baby. I'm smooth as butter. You ain't got to say a damn thing, baby. Oh, I cannot believe it ain't butter, baby. Y'all parquet, bitch. Y'all not that real shit. I'm smooth as butter. Y'all hoes is parquet. Y'all is not the real thing, okay? I cannot believe it's not butter, bitch. That them motherfuckers was not butter. Y'all hoes is not as smooth as Aries, okay? Y'all hoes is parquet, okay? The fuck? Motherfuckers out here falling for the imitation. Ooh! We got the sunglasses. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who you watching and who been watching you? Ooh, let's see what's going on here. Ooh! The coffin. But I feel like y'all about to talk somebody up from the dead. Why well, I feel like y'all talking somebody up from the, from the dead right here. I, I feel like y'all talking somebody up from the dead. Is this something like... This has definitely had to do something from the past, Aries. I feel like you've been talking to your friends about someone from the past. Of, and, and like you've been looking at that page. Well, ever someone's been talking about you, there's somebody that you've had some type of past romance and something has ended. I'm really getting like some type of resurrection energy. It's like because like the way y'all using your energy, it's just like you're talking about this person. You're looking at this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, it says like interested conversations. Um, awaiting messages, arrives, texts, emails, hoovering. So it's like someone's hoovering, watching, looking at someone's profile. And again, this is somebody that it's a dead -end situation is already ended. It's like your constant gazing and looking at this shit is going to resurrect this energy. Like I'm so serious. Ooh, give me more three more cards. Tell me what's going on in Aries life for love in the name of Jesus. Hold on. Mm -mm. So it looks like in some financial situation right here, y'all walking away and y'all choosing, y'all loving yourself and y'all focusing on something else here. This is a lot. What's this? This a lot. This a lot. Oh God, I'm going to take it. Lord Jesus. Okay. Let me put this down because y'all like to talk a lot. Aries. Y'all like to talk a whole lot. Okay. We was trying to make it brief. You got the mask. I told y'all y'all hot and some. You got Cupid arrow. It's like y'all have been hit. You got the not enough card. So they go that doubt. Ooh. And what you got here? You got the girl with the snake. And then you got the phoenix child. Mm. Y'all better not be giving me no other woman tease. Y'all better not be giving me no other woman tease, girl. You better transmute that shit into some positive energy. You better <laughs> transform like a transformer, bitch. You better not be coming through like a Decepticon. You better not do it. Child, you better not motherfucking do it. Empath in a narcissistic paradigm. Being charmed to use in the enabled boundaries. Y'all know when I use my little normal cards, the snake girl, that's the other woman girl. And, and with the girl with the snake and all that stuff, girl. That's that Decepticon. Okay? Now, we ain't about to do this here. We ain't about to do this. Now, what's going on here, Aries? Let's see what the fuck is going on. So, we already have you... Somebody, I don't know. And again, y'all take the energy. I will resonate. Do not motherfucking be jumping out there. Be like, that ain't me. If it's not you... Y'all already know who it is, you know. As if it's not true, this could be someone else that is an Aries that is legitimately dealing with this situation, or this could be someone doing this to you. However, there's someone been talking, chatting, and looking at someone that the situation has been done and passed and over with. They're hiding this. They feel in love again, like it's like. Some type of spark of interest. Some spark of... Yeah, it's like some type of spark of interest. I want to say that kind of hit this person again. Out of nowhere. It's like they just all of a sudden just started thinking about this person. And it's like they're like hitting behind a profile or something. It's like you can't see them. But they've been looking at you. They've been talking 
to people about you. You know, it's like they, you know, it's like so much energy is being used here. It's like they're, it's like they're going to resurrect this shit from the dead. But at the same time, whoever this person is, I don't know if this is you, Aries. I don't know if this is the person thinking about you, looking at you like this. Whoever this person is, this is where this doubt is coming in. That's why I'm saying I'm thinking it's y'all. Because I'm doing this, whenever I do these readings, I'm not doing it really in thinking in mind of a cross watcher. I'm doing this for Aries, the energy around Aries. So, either this is Aries doing this, you know what I'm saying? Or this is something being done around them that they're dealing with, you know? But someone here is in a level of frustration and doubt because... I really don't feel like up here has to do with love. Because up here I feel like a level of empowerment. Down here I don't feel like a level of empowerment. This is someone that's hiding. That's looking. And that's conversing with other people. About how they feel about someone. They're hiding. Their true feelings. You know. Um, because they don't feel like they fit the picture. For some reason. Um. The girl with the snake. It's like there's some other person in this situation here. And it's like. This person that doesn't feel good enough. Is trying to transform. Because it's like. Again. With this girl with the snake. For it to say enabler. Being charmed to use boundaries. Having to like to me, because I'm I'm gonna tell you how I would want someone to tell me. The Phoenix card being next to this new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. I'm praying and I'm hoping here. I'm praying and I'm hoping here that you guys are trying to grow past this. And not trying to be an enabler here. Because this, this did come out in the reverse. It did come out in the reverse. And I try not to read these in the reverse. But I really have to acknowledge it. So I, I feel like this is someone that's trying to. I'm hoping that you're trying to stop looking. Stop talking about. Because it's like you're trying. It's like you may not understand what you're doing. But you're resurrecting the dead. Like you're hiding behind this profile or you're just behind your profile looking with all of this love and admiration. But at the same time, not feeling good enough to be there. I feel like you're going to dig this person up for the next thing you know that this motherfucker is going to be knocking at your door. And at the same time, it's like you don't want fact and truth to hit you that. You're the other person or like like really being put in this situation where it's like having to set boundaries where you're feeling like someone is trying to finagle and swindle you again. You know, so it's like there's some type of infatuation or addiction with looking and still thinking about someone that I want to say isn't positive, it's toxic for them. Mm. Let's clarify these love cards and let's get the head of the over here. Let's clarify this for me, please. I'm being forced to look at the cards above here. Um. I'm being forced to look at these cards above. It's like someone is not giving you something like material. It's like to show their love to, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're trying to transform because this person isn't giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? It's been too much time wasted. It's been, and it's like still feeling like you're not enough to be given to. It's like that's bullshit. This girl with the snake right here, I really do feel like 
you might have been dealing with a low level magician, someone that knows how to charm you, someone that has that know how it has the ability to wrap you up, to play games with your mind and make you feel weak, make you feel powerless against them. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's like this desire for love and the love for self here that is just like kind of keeping you going and it's like you're trying to like walk away from the situation but it's like I still feel like you still cannot stop gazing at this person clarify this the eight of pentacles oh lord is that the um with a fortune in the reverse. No, this is the fool in reverse. This is the eight of pentacles. So this is someone focusing on their job, focusing on their work. And I definitely see something in your work sector. It's like you're already walking away from things over there. You know what I'm saying? And you're focusing on your craft and your skill and your abilities, regardless of what people say. Like if you're not going to give me what I deserve, I will find I will follow my own footsteps and I'm a walk but I'm never going to be without work so it I definitely see that you guys are definitely focused on your business you're focused on your skills here you got the ace of swords in the reverse so you got the ace of swords the six of pentacles and then the fool in reverse so I don't like what I'm getting here I'm getting like someone is being used for their money. Like someone is being used for their money and they don't want to see. They don't they don't want to see it. And it's like you're already. You're a very attractive person. You have like a lot of people that want to. You know that are called to you that you could do whatever you want to do. You're picking your choosing or something. But there's somebody that there's someone that you love. I don't feel like they love you. They love your money. And they love what they can get out of you. And I want to say that you know that. You know that. And it's like. Stop letting this person get away with this. It's something where it's like this person is like so attractive. So hypnotizing. So something. It's like. You can't stop loving this person. It's like, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, I can't. I'm like so trapped up, so stuck here. And it's like, you're working day in and day out. But still, with this Ace of Swords in the verse, it's like, you can't see that all of this stuff that you're doing, all of this money that you're giving, it's like you're aiding and embedding something that's going nowhere. Like, the fool in the reverse, it's like, you can see that you are being a fool and you need to stop being a fool. Like this is like someone that is not the fool in the reverse is I mean like it, it could be like a legitimate someone that doesn't have faith that if they move forward and walk away from something that they could find something better. So it's like I'm stuck here. I'm going to stay here. Like I really don't have faith in the unknown or, or, or my future blessings. Or that God's going to give me something better than what I have here. It's like, you know, not trusting faith, not trusting God. It's like in some aspects in life, it's like you could get up and walk on faith. And, and, and when money is concerned, it's like, yeah, I could show a nigga how to walk. But it's like from this situation, from this man this woman whatever it is it's like you'll work tirelessly day in and day out and it's like you're not seeing the truth you're constantly giving 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 it's like stop being a fool it's like you're like a little hamster running around on this little hamster wheel it's like you're going nowhere it's going nowhere it's going nowhere I don't know if this is someone that you dealt with in the past. If this is a person that you're not dealing with anymore. Like. It's like someone is behind a, a, a device. Watching. Paying attention. Like. Not saying stalking in a bad way. Stalking in a good way. Just looking at someone's profile a lot. It's like. Feeling someone's energy from. It's like I'm not. 
there with this person in person, but I can still see what's going on with their life or whatever. Like trying to talk someone up or something, trying to resurrect someone. I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm feeling that. I don't know why I feel. I feel that so strongly. It's like you're in love again. It's like, you know, but it's like you it's like someone not feeling strong or powerful enough to say it or to tell someone because it's like they don't feel good enough. Like I said, the magician in the reverse, it's like they kind of feel weak a little bit. But, you know, because it's like either this person didn't give something to them before. It might have been a long time. Uh... Or it's been a long time for this person to come and say something. And they won't say something. Or it's like someone's not giving something. But you're still so trapped in. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. And whoever this is, it's like a playgirl. You know what I'm saying? It's like. I don't know if this is a man. That is feeling like this about a woman. That is just like. She got all of these women. I mean, she got all of these men all over her. And you can't stop looking at this woman. Like, you're doubting. If you, you know what I'm saying? Or if this is a woman that you're in this energy, but the one, and you got all of these men, but the one that you love, be, I'm talking about running you like a fucking fool. And you can control all these other men and control everything else in your situation. But that one thing, that one man, this is like someone got you wrapped. Like you might even be taking all of the money and all of the lifestyle stuff. <laughs> and you mean you're giving it to him. If these people give you something, you may be breaking 50 down with this dude. I, I don't know what I'm getting. Like It's like almost like a pimp or something. But not like a pimp. I don't want to say like a pimp. But yeah, it's like... Someone got this girl. It's like someone got this girl. Got her. And it's like this this person works, 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 and does not see all of your working and your hard earning. It's like this person is lying to you, not giving you the truth, like a like keeping you controlled by some type of words or words play. Where it's like you're constantly this is gift giving, helping, aiding, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like on this hamster wheel. Like, this is like some, I don't know, I'm getting some pimp and shit. Okay, I gotta go. It's too much. Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Aries, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. And y'all know, y'all already know how y'all be. I gotta go. <laughs> y'all hit the like button. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comments because a lot of times I'll be like, what the fuck is going on? Y'all be like, no, girl. Or y'all to email me, young. Email me. Tell me what the tea is. <laughs> I gotta go. Peace.